Hey YouTube, your favorite YouTuber here, Ian Presses48 is here, and welcome back to another Diecast related video. And today I want to do something new, make some more Diecast related content whenever I do not have new Diecasts. And before I get started with this, when I whenever I keep looking at my Diecast 164 shelves, I always wonder, hey. Some of these schemes are the same, but they're different because X and Y. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, basically a new series, I'm not sure. So let's see how it goes. Um, so first up, here we got two Ricky Rudd cars. First up, this is Ricky Rudd's 1997 Tide Ride for Thunderbird, and this is his 1998 Tide Ride for Taurus. This was when he was an owner driver for five years from 1994 through 1999. He had six wins as an owner. Iconically, the Brickyard 400 in 99, I think. Fuck, I, don't, I think somewhere in the late 90s. And his other famous win was the one of the Martinsville races from 98, I think. However, he was exhausted because uh, one of the Martinsville races was hot as hell. And he was extremely exhausted. And I think uh, he uh, his AC broke or something. But regardless, race car drivers are athletes. Everyone, everyone knows that. So yeah, let's begin. So first up, here we got his 1997 Ford Taurus. As you can see here, the iconic Tide Ride. Let's give it a little 360. Mm, both of these were made by Racing Champs. This is his 1998 ride. You know, give it a little fuck. Go give it a little 360 for this one. All right, now that you guys saw a little quick 360 of both of these similar schemes, let's see what is what are the differences from 97 and 98. Of course, they both have a different bodies. In 97, uh, Ford was still running the Thunderbird, while the Chevy Monte Carlos and Pontiac Grand Prix were curves. Uh, Ford Thunderbird was still ha was still racing square bodies. And one year later, Ford Towers decided to join the curvy bandwagon. And here we go. And it's not just the bodies that are different. What else could it be? Well, first of all, on the left side, of course, the scheme on the left side, of course, they're the same. However, there are some sponsors that Rudd had and some that he lost. So let's see, in 97, he only had Downey. One year later, he had Dawn and We Care alongside with Downey. And he still had uh, Whirlpool. And he still had EC, Mac Tools and Ford. In 98, he had uh, I'm not sure what this is. AC Delco, I think. Ford. Not sure what this logo is. He did have Exxon. And something about Ford here. Hold on. Oh, crap, I won't focus. Patrick Ford, it says. So, in 1998, he had more sponsors. On the left side. And I hear the contingency sponsors from 97 and 98. Same thing, except uh, AP did not return to, to Rudd in 98. And then he's both had STP and 76. Let's check out the hoods. Uh, Tied, American's favorite for both. Now, of course, the front for Thunderbird, for Towers. That's, of course, a big difference. Same side as the left. And in 97, Ricky Rudd had 
What is this? Can't really tell. It's probably a different sponsor. And Rudd only had Tide at his back bumper alongside with Ford and the number 10. And then on the deck lid, he had Whirlpool for both. So, of course, not a big difference. Just some sponsor gains, sponsor losses for Rudd. And personally, I preferred the, the tower's body better. To be honest, when I look at the four Thunderbirds, and while every other car, like Pontiac and Chevy, they were curvy, while the, tower, while the Thunderbird was still boxy, it felt, it looked like it was outdated. Like whenever you watch an NASCAR race from 1996 or 19, 1996 through 1997, you can tell that four Thunderbirds were pretty much outdated at that time because Monte Carlo came back in 95, then Pontiac Grand Prix became curvy in 96. And then one year later, uh, Ricky Rudd's 1998 Ford Taurus, the, uh, Ford, uh, Towers was born and so honestly the big winner goes to 1998 to be honest not only because the Towers looks better and pretty much not outdated like the Thunderbird but because they got they got more sponsors and I think the scheme itself looks better on the Towers but to be fair with the Thunderbird the scheme looks good when all the cars were square bodied. Remember the remember Ricky Rudd finally owned his own team in 1994. Chevy uh, had Lumina. Pontiacs were still square bodies. So so yeah, the Thunderbird looked better when everybody was square bodied. But when uh, the Gen Four cars became curvy, the scheme is better. So I I think like some of you guys are thinking, oh, I sound stupid, but I try to explain the best I can. If you guys do get it, thank you. So yeah, this is probably a random video, but you no, know what, whatever. I'll do more of this because I think I will enjoy this, and I think it'll be fun to watch for you guys and all that cool stuff. So with that being said, which do you which do you guys prefer better? Ricky Rudd's Tide on a Thunderbird or Ricky Rudd's Tide Ride on a Taurus. Now feel free to tell me in the comments below, respectfully by the way. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the Impress 48 signing off. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Find my social accounts and link in the description below. I really hope you guys enjoyed something different when it comes to diecast. Thank you all so much for supporting Ian Nation. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.